For children of immigrants, there's a documentary coming out for you. It is called Pet Project Enye, and it touches on some of the struggles of immigrant children who are growing up in America, trying to stay true to two very distinct cultures. Yes. The documentary is based here in Denver, and 9 News reporter Jonathan Gonzalez joins us now. You are an Enye. I am an Enye. Belin is an Enye as well. Our photographer, okay. Manny Sotelo, who shot the story for later, is also an Enye. And what that means is that we're part of Generation Enye, and it's interesting because it, what it means is that we weren't necessarily Latino enough for our Latino culture, but not necessarily American. American enough here in America. So it's fascinating stuff. What's cool is that Generation Enya isn't really a generation at all because Enya's can be born in the 40s and 50s to people being born today. Project Enya focuses on the Hispanic culture here in America, but it's really something many people can relate with. The story focuses on Denise Soler Cox. She's a woman from New York State. And if you notice the pronunciation of her middle name, Soler, her father actually began calling her family the Solar Family to try and assimilate into the culture better when they moved from Spanish Harlem to Westchester County, New York. The documentary will feature interviews with several different Latino celebrities like Luis Guzman there, but the story actually focuses on Denise. She talks about the struggle of never being great at speaking Spanish and the shame that came from family and friends because of that. But at the same time, she was struggling to fit in at school because she wasn't enough like the other kids she was growing up with, even down to the kind of food that was in her lunch pail. I mean, can you just imagine how many people it would affect if we just had just however many people that are in our exact shoes, just consider for one second letting go of that shame. Just for one second, consider moving on from today and just saying, this will stop bothering me as of today. Like, to me, it's wrong. It's wrong to feel a sh like shame sucks. Thing that you mm. The documentary is now trying to map out Enya's across the country. The struggles of growing up as an Enya doesn't typically compare to the struggles of being an immigrant, but they are struggles nevertheless. And I had a very emotional experience when I was doing this interview because I'm talking to her and I started to realize all the things she was saying were the exact same things that mm -hmm. I was struggling with growing really? up. I never realized it. Because you have a really personal connection to tell. I did. I grew up in Burbank, California, predominantly white town. I'm also Costa Rican. My parents are from Costa Rica. And there's just not a lot of Costa Ricans in Los Angeles huh. um, and here in the U.S. in general. So I didn't really feel connected to the Latino culture. And I also didn't feel connected to the American culture. I remember a time when I told my dad I was going to start calling him dad. I wasn't going to call him papi anymore because all, uh, some of my friends at school started mm -hmm. making fun of me. My brother, of course, Esteban, started calling himself Steven because he wow. didn't feel Does he still? American enough. No, he goes by Esteban because okay. now he knows it's unique. He's back so, uh, in touch with that culture. And there's so absolutely. many families here in Colorado mm -hmm. whose last name, the pronunciation yep. has changed or students are going through that right mm -hmm. now. Absolutely. Huh. And, and so the big thing is it doesn't have to just be the Latino culture. It's definitely anyone who you know is the, children, mm -hmm. the child of an immigrant mm -hmm. who can connect with this. And that's the whole thing. Project Any is trying to connect those people. Mm -hmm. Give them, share their story. So love it. Can't yeah. wait to see more of your mm -hmm. coverage today. Yeah. Really interesting. We'll watch really it great. later on today. Absolutely. Really great.